Hey everyone, Sleepy here. Okay, so this video is going to be pretty quick. I just kind of want to document uh, some of the things that I found when uh, trying to get custom ESP32 hardware that you might have made for WLED to work with uh, the user mod uh, multi relay. Because uh, frankly, if you go th look in some of the documentation, um, it's kind of confusing on exactly how to get it to work. So uh, let me just show you. So I'm running everything through Home Assistant. So that's how I'm controlling everything and I can run it from an app and all that good stuff. Okay, for when I was trying to get my custom hardware, as you can see here, working with WLED and the four relays I had on there, there's a user mod called Multi Relay, which I ran into problems getting it to work properly. Okay, so one of the first things you have to do when trying to set up uh, the multi -re relay is you're going to use MQTT. Uh, that's how it's going to be discoverable in Home Assistant. Well, one of the things that all the, the tutorials and stuff don't really go over is how to get that working properly. Okay, so if you're in Home Assistant, uh, likely going to use uh, MQTT here, which is uh, Mosquito. Uh, very straightforward, works great. Um, but before you do this, what you need to do is create a user, which they don't tell you and it doesn't do it out of the box. It just creates a user account for this that's a system account. So what I've done in my configuration for getting it to work is I've created two users. Um, one WLED um, custom, which correlates to each of my boards, so they all have their own user account, and one WLED uh, relay admin, something like that. Uh, something for this. If you go into the configuration settings and reconfigure, as you can see, I created an admin account called WLED relay. And that's pretty much the only thing you need to change here uh, from its default username, which I think is Home Assistant and the ridiculous password it puts on there. Okay, so once that's changed, another thing you might want to install on Home Assistant is a MQTT Explorer, which frankly is very handy to use because then you can see the messages that are being passed back and forth between Home Assistant and WLED. As you can see, I got Home Assistant and WLED there. So it's, it's showing both sides. Okay, now you're wondering, okay, so you've done that. How do you get this to work? Okay, so if you're in WLED, and if you're wondering where the relays will actually pop up when you're using it, if you go into info, you'll see it here. You can probably hear it click. Um, I had to remove the uh, status LEDs because my design was horrible and it wasn't working. So if you go in um, to config and go down to your sync interfaces, this is where you can set up your MQTT. So scroll to the bottom, MQTT. Okay, so out of the box and from all the things you'll see on the internet for how to set up multi-relay, the broker will not be this IP address. It will be Core Mosquito. It will be this Core Mosquito, which I don't understand why they're set up like that in the descriptions because that assumes that your WLED instance is running on the same machine as your home assistant. No, no, who does that? I don't think you can, I don't think you can actually even do that. So maybe I'm doing something wrong in the network configuration, but hey, it works for me. So I finally stumbled upon it. I forget on what form or something, but to put the IP address of your home assistant. And I don't have to blur any of this out because that's just my home. Uh, that's my internal NAT. So no one's gonna be able to hack me with that. So change the broker to the IP address of whatever your home 
assistant is. And suddenly, it works. Uh, this is where I put in WLED custom. I uh, gave it a client ID and device topic custom will correlate to this individual unit. That's why it's device and group topic WLED all. So that will, that's for all uh, WLED devices that are MQT configured. So, so I just click all the other buttons like um, publish button press and retain white brightness things just to make sure I got I'm flooded with information. And for save your settings, and remember, if that's the first time you're configuring it, you're going to have to reboot. And remember, when you're in user mod, here, let me get, show you some things. You need to enable it, but you also need to do um, HA auto discovery. So that's we'll get the MQTT messages broadcasting. Um, the relays, which I'm not sure why this is set up like this. So active high. Uh, that's if you want to switch the functionality of the relays. It's very handy to do, especially when I'm doing custom hardware because I don't know if I'm signing it right. Um, you can also do button presses, hardware buttons if you want to, but I'm not. Uh, the external is important. If it's unclicked, you won't get that button in the uh, info pane within WLED. If you click it, it will appear there. That's what that means. It took me a while to figure that out. Again, documentation doesn't really say exactly everything. Could be a little clearer. I love the, I love the mod, don't get me wrong, but yeah, I wish that was a little clearer. So I set the my four relays up, and then all of a sudden, inside of Home Assistant, these are gonna appear. They're gonna be discovered. And switch here, they're gonna be discovered as switches. So as you can see, four relays, four switches, and yes, Home Assistant uses an index of zero, so it starts at zero. And then you can go from there and create things. Like, uh, I have this custom relay group where I can click all one and trigger all four at one time. Um, so that's what I, that's how I had to. That's what I did to get it to work. It took me like two, three weeks of stumbling around to finally get this to work. So as you can see, now if I go into WLED and go into info and I start clicking things, you're going to see the amount of messages here jumped. And watch, right now they're all off. I'm going to switch one, and you see, change it on. That's pretty cool. And this is a, this is from Home Assistant. This is what it's picked up as the um, original uh, discovery from when the WLED broadcast what capabilities it has, and uh, Home Assistant has picked this up. So this is what it can see, or it's you know functionality and all that good stuff. So yeah, that's what I got for today. Um, this really frustrated me. So now I have a custom WLED hardware that can handle right now four relays. And I'm actually gonna, my next version of this hardware is gonna have more relays. I would love to have a version of uh, say ESP at home, which I actually do use on some of my satellite boxes that don't have any LED controls, but I'm just turning on relays um, that has a WLED module in, inside of it integrated that's a full-fledged WLED. Uh, right now there is an add-on where you can control WLED from it, but it's not a full-fledged WLED. It's, you're not hooking, there's no, you're not hooking anything to it, uh, light-wise. So yeah, that's all I got for today. I hope this uh, video helps you. Uh, if you got any questions, leave them in the comments. As always, Stay sleepy, my friends.